Welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted in a while. All I've been posting is shorts because it's super easy and I've been absolutely slammed all year. So I've just been trash posting, but we're working on a couple things right now. I'll show you what we're getting into. I've been rebuilding a bunch of stuff in the shop here. We got a K760 there, got another one there apart. Uh, it's got a bad piston. I already started rebuilding it. This is the new setup. The old one's really scored, but that's not what we're focusing on today. There's the new one. That one needs a carb and a coil. Um, this one needs piston, head, breather tube. Um, and I think, oh, and I already replaced the coil, uh, the cord. Pull cord assembly, Ugh, whatever. Um, I've been rebuilding a lot of 770s. This one's good to go. It just needs the little, the little bolt here. This one's got a brand new assembly on it. This one's fully complete, ready to go. I picked up a, uh, a whole truckload of equipment. Um, it came with, I think, five or six of these 770s. This is the next one that I'm rebuilding. I already finished three of them. These two are good to go. Just needs the bolt. This one needs a uh, carburetor. I got that sitting over there. Uh, intake box, housing. I have the main cover and um, I need the handle because these were all uh, 770Hs. So they had the hip throttles, which I don't like. Got rid of them. I put the hand throttles on, much easier to work with. Um, this one got all new plastics. This, uh, the main cover, air box, inner, outer, everything good to go so what we're doing today is i found one of these in my pile of engines and i found a cable because this one's busted up the end broke off i don't know if you can see it so i'm going to show you guys how to change this i don't usually recommend changing these mainly because what i'll show you is going on inside the rocker that kills this switch in here usually gets worn out so by the time you know a year or two of runtime from a commercial use is on these this rocker is bad so even if you put a new switch in there it doesn't it'll it'll get it to rock like three quarters of the way not to the point where it'll click it'll just stop like right there and it won't shut it off. So I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do this. Uh, I think there's a T27 Torx. And you just need some kind of little tool to wedge the wires in there. So you got one, two, three, four, five screws. This one's longer. This one has a smooth shaft on it because it's, uh, it's for the actual trigger. So that's the only one that needs to be in the same spot. All these other ones stay right there. All right, got them taken out. This is the one that I was talking about. It's got the longer smooth shank. That's for the trigger. So once you get into it, there's nothing on this side. That's just the top, the bottom piece. You got your main two cables. They go along this channel here. They go up to those two. They go to the switch. Then you have your main cable here. So this all just comes right out in one big piece. Let's see if we can get this out with one hand. Probably not. Oh, no, we got it. So this slides out of the way. You just gotta remember that this little arm goes on the bottom. Because the rocker for that, that little nub right there, goes in that slot. So as it goes like this, this moves. Here's your trigger, just rotate it, and that comes right out. No problem. So here's where this comes in. You can just pry this out. If I had two hands, it'd be a lot easier. You got that, and then you got your two cables that run along this channel. And that's it. That's how you take it out. Super easy and throw it away. So 
So the part that's worn out, I don't know if you'll be able to see it real well, right here at the tip of my thumb, that's the part that rocks on the switch. So when you throw it forward all the way to shut it off, it doesn't click all the way. So I don't usually rebuild these because that piece is worn out. Um, and it's not really worth it to buy the cable, this, and rebuild the whole thing. You can buy a whole assembly pretty much anywhere for between 38 to 45 bucks. Delivered to your door, whatever. Or you can buy this cable set up for like 25 If you're in a jam, it'll work. I don't usually recommend it, but... Some people like doing them, I usually don't. I buy the whole assembly and I like being done quicker. You just unbolt it, clip it in, and you're done. So let's see here, let's see if I can get this in with one hand. There we go. So the main, the main problem here is I only have one hand, and I can't do the whole thing like this, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull this cable out a little bit and get it lined up, and then get these back into the grooves. Okay, I needed two hands for that. So you take your little tool, you get the wires to go up around the pivot, and move that cable out of the way. You got two grooves right there. One there, one there, and they tie together in this one. And they just keep the wires tucked out of the way until they get back to here. And you have your little grooves here at the end. That's just for the cable to sit in like that. Your main cable comes up, clips in there, and that's it. All right, I think I got it so I can do it with one hand. Get the cable lined up in there. That slides into this main piece here like that. Now you got to make sure that that slot gets onto that nub. So you got to get those in there. Make sure these top pieces clip in. There you go. Now you got to see, see how it's not lining up right there? There you go. And I think just, here we go. So you can see See that nub right there? That's what, when it wears out, it doesn't, and that one's still not totally worn out, but usually it'll get it to, like, right there, and it won't shut off. That's why I replaced the entire setup. But this one's still good enough. This was one of my personal ones, so it wasn't totally worn out, but you can hear it still gets it engaged. Off. That's on. This one should be good. Put your handle back on. Let's see if I can get that in there. Put your screws back. Put this one back in the one spot and then you're good to go. That's how you rebuild one of the handles for a Echo 770T.